In this problem, we're told a 380 kilogram piano slides 3.9 meters down a 27 degree incline and is kept from accelerating by a man who is pushing back on it parallel to the incline. To determine A, the force exerted by the man, B, the work done by the man on the piano, C, the work done by the force of gravity, and D, the net work done on the piano, and we're told to ignore friction. So this is going to be a frictionless plane. So let's go ahead and draw what's going on here. So this is going to be the plane. So here's our plane, and so we have uh, this piano, right? And so it's going to slide down 3.9 meters, right? So imagine this is 3.9 meters, and then we have our piano here. Uh, I'm just going to draw a box to represent it, but it's the same thing, right? So just imagine they're the same. So this right here is going to be our piano, and we know it's going to be 380 kg. So 380 kg, and then we have this man here, right? And he's going to be pushing on the piano and so we know this degree or this incline right is going to be 27 degrees so that's going to be our drawing so let's go ahead and start with a so a says to determine the force exerted by the man so we're going to be dealing with forces here so uh, what's what we want to do first is just draw a free body diagram to represent the different forces right so we have mg going down straight down we have f sub n uh, perpendicular to the incline Right, and so by uh, by now for this unit, you should be able to label the forces, right? Because that's what the last unit was about. And so we also have this force, and then we have a force. These are just the x and y components of our gravity, right? The force due to gravity. This one right here is mg times the cosine of theta. This right here is mg times the sine of theta. Right, hopefully you know how to do that by now. But let's go ahead and focus on A. So we're trying to determine the force exerted by the man, right? So we know that he's keeping this piano in place. So he's essentially the force going this way he's going to have to do, uh, he's going to be exerting the same force back, right? And so what is the force exerting this way, uh, or the block, right? So we know there's no friction. We just know it's going to be the force due to gravity, right? But let's keep in mind, it's just going to be the X component, right? Because if we view this as the X and this is the Y, he's going to have the X component, which is mg times the sine of theta uh, pushing against him. So he's going to be exerting that force back, right? So if we know what mg times the sine of theta is, he's going to be exerting the same force because he's keeping it in place, right? So we know that the force he's going to push, I'm just going to call it uh, F sub M, is going to be equal to mg times the sine of theta, right? Because those two forces have to be equal because he's keeping it in place. And so what we can do is just solve for this, right? We know theta is just our angle, 27 degrees. Uh, the mass, we know 380 kilograms. So it's going to be equal to 380 times 9.8 times the sine of 27. So... If you go ahead and do that, you're going to get, it's going to be equal to 1,691 newtons. And so that's going to be about 1,700 newtons. But I'm going to use this for the rest of the problems because we're going to need this for B and so on. But yeah, so this is going to be your answer to A, 1,691. So that's going to be the force he's exerting on it. Now let's move on to B. So what's going to be B? So B is the work done by the man on the piano. So work is going to be uh, the energy uh, the energy that he does, right? So uh, what we want to do is solve for that. And you know the formula for work, right, it's measured in joul uh, joules, is equal to the force times the distance times the cosine of theta, which is the angle, essentially, the angle between the force and the direction it's traveling. So what is the force he's ex uh, exerting, right? Because we're trying to do the work done by the man. So we, know the, we need to know the force that he's exerting. And so we do know that. We just calculated that in the last problem. It's going to be 1,691 newtons. What's the distance he's going to push it? So I assume in this problem, he's pushing it back up. I don't really specify, but uh, essentially the distance is 3.9 meters. So we know the distance. And then it's going to be multiplied by the cosine of... And so for this part, uh, what you need to do is theta is the, the difference between the force and the direction it's going, right? So we notice his force is this way. Or the force that he's exerting is this way, but the piano is traveling this way. So it's going to be 180 degrees. Right, so it equals 180, and the reason that is is right. If you imagine it goes this way, right, it's going this way, but he's pushing up this way, so it's 180 degrees, right? They're exact opposite, so we just call that 180. So now we've got that, right? So 180, and so if you go ahead and calculate this, you're gonna get uh, minus 6,595 joules. Right, because keep in mind the cosine of 180 is negative, so this is just going to become negative. Uh, you can round this if you want to uh, minus 6600, 
but we're going to need this for one of the future problems, so just keep this in mind. So that's going to be that for uh, B. Let's do C now. So C is the work done by the force of gravity. So work again, work equals force times distance times the cosine of theta, right? So what is going to be the force due to gravity? So we know it's going to be equal to uh, gravity is the force, right? So it's just mg straight down. So that's going to be uh, the force, right? Because they're telling us it's the force due to gravity. Gravity is equal to mg, right? Times the distance, which is, I'm just going to put d for now, and then times the cosine of the difference in our angle, right? So imagine this is going straight down, and this is 27 degrees up, right? So the difference between these two, uh, it's going to be uh, equal to, imagine this is 27 degrees here, so it's really equal to 90 minus 27, right? So 90 minus 27 is 63. So it's going to be mg times the distance times the cosine of 63, right? Because the force is this way, but he's pushing it this way. So that's going to be that. So we just got to plug in now. So the mass we all know is 380. Multiply that by g, which is 9.8, uh, times the distance, which is 3.9 meters. And then we just multiply it by the cosine of 63. And so what you should notice here is that when you do this, you're going to get uh, 6,595 about, right? So it's going to be 5. And so what you should notice is these are both about minus, or this is going to be positive, right? So this is positive 6,600 joules. What you should notice is these are the same, right? Because it's going to be the same amount of work. And so this is where we're going to get D, right? So D is the network done on the piano, right? So these are our two, the network essentially, the way you solve it is just by adding up uh, the different amount of work required, right? So we, we found the work done by gravity, and then we found the work done by the man, because those are the two different forces acting on our piano. So all we got to do is add them up and f to find uh, the network. And so keep in mind, this is minus 6,600, and then this is positive 6,600. So what you should notice is that it's going to be equal to zero, right? Because we're just adding up the work done. So it's going to be equal to zero joules, right? So the answer to this is D, right? So D, the net work done on the piano, is going to be zero joules. So your answer to uh, this part here is going to be about 1,700 newtons A. Your answer to B, we found, was minus 6,600 uh, joules. Your answer to C is 6,600. So this is positive, this is negative. And then your answer to D is just going to be zero joules. So this is going to be how you solve this problem, and hopefully you found it useful.